Welcome back, everybody. We are on episode number 45 of our Oxygen Not Included All Achievement Run. In this episode, we are going to make a beeline towards the teleporters. We may send a new duplicate over there. Haven't quite decided yet. But I want to take the ladders down into this extra slime biome, start clearing this out, because I want to take advantage of this natural gas geyser. We need the natural gas for the gas range that's all the way up here so I want to try and take advantage of it uh, what else do we need to do we need to come back up this way and we need to get more research completed I feel like we've been stuck at nine I don't think the we are producing enough for some reason so we're going to need to keep an eye on that to see if we're able to get more there more than uh, our total research here because we want to we want to at least get all of the creature comforts uh, we also are going to work on a Paku farm which I think is going to be really helpful helpful especially since we don't want to live off of stone hatches only there's a couple of things that we could do like the surf and turf if we go here we could make surf and turf probably if we had cooked seafood but we do not so we are going to um, get that moving and rolling hopefully within this next set of cycles let's hop to it all right so firstly I think we need to come out with, come up with some sort of layout right so the layout that I want to do is I want to get rid of all of these and these and all of this. We need the room. Let's go over here. At least clear all of this out. There we go. All this hydrogen can float over to the top. We have so much plastic. We have 7.2 tons of plastic. That is a good amount. There we go. Alright, so if we want to have two Paku per one of these, that means we need keep doing that. Sweep. <laughs> there we go. I mean, we're gonna eventually going to want three, but to start, we need to tame one, right? So, I think what we're going to do is, let's just make it out of a regular tile. No, regular tile. Yeah, there we go. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. We want a bridge. Open. <laughs> that was not what I intended. And now, let's see, produces micro trip to increase the power output for generators. So let's use regular copper. Do we even have extra copper? I think we do. Yeah, we have plenty. Let's do 15. Um, we want to do an airflow tile, maybe, and then we want, let's do a, let's see, it was food, and we want to fish feeder, 
So we need to get rid of all of these. I found this on a different person's tutorial and I wanted to try it out because it looked like it was really simple. It looked like it it's bound to work as long as you put a little bit of extra effort towards it. So let's get all of that. Right? I don't think we'll need a ladder there. I think we can reach everything. Probably going to put regular clean water here. So, to do that, we are going to need some refinement, a sieve, maybe? Let's see, how cold is this water? It's negative in some sections. So maybe we need the liquid tepidizer. Is that in their utilities? No, I don't want to do the tepidizer. I want to do the can function in a vacuum, can be run through the wall on the floor tiles. Okay. Let's see, where where do we want to go? What is the temperature? Temperature is pretty warm over there. See, if we, the reason I'm looking at this, if we decided to change this water into regular water, it would be seriously cold and it would turn into ice immediately. Because if you look at the water temperature here, freezes at negative six degrees Celsius. So we would have some issues. We would need to run that through a warmer biome like this. So, Here's what I propose. Let's make this out of sandstone since we have plenty of it. We are going to put water going up and around and down. No, not power plumbing. We will do insulated pipe in a moment. Plumbing first. Come on, Dom. Get it together. All right, insulated pipe up and over. And then we can actually just cut this off here and then turn insulated pipe all the way down here. Get rid of this pipe because we don't need it. And then how are we going to do this? We are going to do this by one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then we want refinement the water sieve, we will have it go we'll flip this right because building intake will be on the opposite side we actually want it to go down and around I know this is probably excessive but I'd rather have too much cooling or heating up than not enough. Yeah, I know that's a little much. But I feel like it's going to be totally necess a necessity. Otherwise, the water is going to get way, way too cold. I'm just going to throw it on the back end since that can hold 50 kilowatts of power. And then we are going to throw a storage bin here. And then we are going to throw an auto sweeper. Maybe? Shipping. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. And then that produces polluted dirt. Right? Because that's what we have it sending. Polluted dirt. And then rail, regular copper, go up and over, up, down, over. Yep. It's not too chaotic, I promise. Okay, and then 
power. Perfect. So we'll give them some time to do that. Let's go to some higher speed. Okay, all those have been made. We're gonna need a ladder in here. Temporarily. And then we'll get rid of the ladder after we picked up everything. Uh, food and fish feeder. One here, one here, one here. Now I'm not going to do this for full automation right away. I'm only going to do this so we can get it a two Paku per type of thing. Oh boy. Actually, let's do this like now. Yeah. We don't want Brian in this tank. Because if we have Brian in this tank, when it gets pushed up and down and around, it's going to be way, way not what we want. So I wonder... Brian Liquid... Sweep. I'm just checking for Brian Ice. I don't think we have any Brian Ice in here. Nope. I think they're good. Cool. So let's change all this to like an 8. We really want them to clean all that up. And make it look nice and pretty. Interesting. Okay, now what else are we doing? Oh, we have a printable. Let's take care of that. Blossom Seed. What else have we had going on? Oh, this is full. Huh. <laughs> Super full of... Barbecue and fried mushroom. It doesn't have a full sterile environment right now, but it's getting the job done. We might try to throw cold hydrogen at it, since we should be having a ton of it go through the base here. How cold is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not terribly cold, but gets cold really quick. Once we have an aqua tuner set up with like a coal, like cooling it, cooling down water to a specific temperature and it just keeps looping and looping and looping, we can use like brine and polluted water in that loop, which has a lower temperature to freeze. And then we can send the hydrogen through that loop, like behind that loop in the same contained square that'll chill it down probably to the point where we can turn this into a actual deep freeze and that will probably be the best thing we can do just to keep this food from spoiling they haven't fully gotten rid of all of this yet We need to break in. Okay, this is good. Ooh, tropical fr Paku down here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we will add... We're, we're going to add a... Weezwart. We're going to do the Weezwart trick, like we have been. 
I don't see any germs. No germs. Anywhere. Oh, well, almost anywhere. There we go. Okay, all that is done. We need uh, filtration medium, sand, 5,000. And then you need no liquid output. That's right. Oh, we did just regular pipes. You know what we need to do? We need to do radiant pipes, which is made out of gold. Oh boy. All right, well, we don't have a lot of it, but we can do that. And then we can also This isn't going to be here forever. This is literally just to fill up each one of these rooms. And then... Liquid pipe thermal sensor. We want that here. And then automation. Turn this on when we have X amount. And then in here we want agriculture. No, it's lower. It is organic polluted dirt. Critter starvation. You should have eaten. There was plenty of stuff here. That's fine. How many do we have in here? We have eight. Okay. These grow relatively quickly, so I'm not concerned in the slightest. Wait, no. Don't you harvest that. All right, we need to look at... Okay, all these are harvested and we don't need them to be. There we go. Three. We have three glossy Draco farms. That is awesome. We have a ton of eggs. Look at we've got over a hundred eggs that are being turned right into what we need them to be. More barbecue. We're going down here. They're going down here. I'm not putting them at a high priority. Disable auto harvest. I don't really care about these too much right now. Hmm. Polluted oxygen down here, huh? And it's toasty. Really toasty. So, this is what happens when you use the metal refinery so much. All of this water got really warm right? Or the brine got really, really warm just from using it in here. Um, let's move this here. That is how much heat the metal refinery gives off. So if you're wondering, no, I will not be using this for a little bit until we can cool off all of this again. We're not going to have activity for another few cycles. All the water in here is six degrees and the water out of it is 24.2. So what we could do is, doo -doo -doo. what about in here, is it the same thing? No, it's 38 degrees inside of that. Um, We will need more steel. How many do we have on hand? Do we, do we see? Okay, we need a little bit more steel. We need like... That should be plenty. Yeah. Should be plenty. We need 10 more. I'm just gonna go with it for now. I 
idleness. Why do we have idle dupes? I think it's because not everybody can make all of this stuff. Should not be idle. There's a lot of stuff to do. Like pick up drecklet eggs for rogue drecklets. <laughs> Okay, we need power to this. No, we need ventilation as well. Ventilation. Okay, power. Power. And deliver suit. So I think we made extra. We did, we made a few extra. That makes me so happy every time I look at it. Okay, these are good to get rid of. We don't need them anymore. That'll give us some more stuff back. How are we doing down here? Everything's looking pretty straightforward. We can go down like this. Uh, not all the way, because we want a food farm tile. Here, there we go. We'll move it right in the middle instead. Pufflet is sleeping in the water. It's a very smart Pufflet. <laughs> you know what's interesting is these don't have a Pufflet Prince. Yep, they don't have a Pufflet Prince, which is very interesting. Hmm. Okay, onward, up here. Why is all this not getting done? Low priority, higher priority. Yeah. Here, get rid of some sand. <laughs> that will allow all this hydrogen to go up here. More sticker bombs. So cool. Love the stickers. Elderly. Hmm. See, I can click on these glossy Draco eggs, but I can't click on the other ones. Okay, we're getting closer. Uh, let's sweep. No, no, don't, don't get rid of those yet. <laughs> See, this is really nice. So we want... What do we want? We want Paku food, which is just... I don't know, do we want some seeds? Or if we want... I think just algae. And we'll just copy that across the board. Right? Well, you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to do it this way. Yeah, we have to do it this way because if we don't, then we won't be able to get everything. So, base, door, 
this is how it looks, I think. Yeah. Like that. Mm hmm. They can walk across that, so. Mm, anybody else need that? Then we can get rid of those two. Alright, now that they're building all of that, kind of, <laughs> I thought they were deconstructing that. Well, maybe they have to construct those first. Alright, let's get rid of these. Slowly moving into this area. It's taking a little bit of time. Let's change that to a 9. I want to get there, like, now. <laughs> it's nice that even if we have all these shine bugs around the base, we don't have to worry about them being near the bedrooms. In fact, you know what we're going to do? Let's give them some more downtime. And I always say that because... It gives them a little bit more morale, right? And we are completing stuff in a relatively good amount of time. So the more morale, the better. Perfect. And gives us less idle dupes, right? Okay. Now, why this has not been completed, I am beyond unsure. Do we have... Oh, we need iron. How hot is it? It's getting really toasty. But we needed the steel, so we can make an aqua tuner. Okay. You know what we could do is we could get rid of all of this. Nah, we'll decide on that later. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with what we have right now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, well, wait. Nope. Eight. We'll need to grab the rest of that in a minute. I don't want the icky water in here because it's gonna off gas all up into the night in the base, and the base is all nice and toasty and all well, kind of toasty. This is toasty. What do we got? Hatchling eggs. Okay. Hatchling egg one. Hatchling egg two, and hatchling egg one, two, three. Perfect. Don't need to come up here anymore. Okay. This is a priority nine, people. Why are we not completing it? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, man. We've got a lot of power being made. Um, are microchips being done? They are. This is considered a power plant. So let's let's take a look at the power. Twelve hundred per. That's pretty good. And then this is somewhere. I mean, it's never up to the maximum. It's just giving us enough power to give us what we need for right now. Um, we want to do... Okay, they're catching up finally. They are catching up. S 
snow. You know, all that brine ice hasn't been moved over here yet. Interesting. Oh yeah. That temperature is going up really fast. So, once this is done, we will not be able to continue with uh, using the metal refinery for too long. We'll need to cool, cool down the water with like an aqua tuner, which will be in a later on episode. Uh, let's deconstruct that. And we'll do the same thing here. We're making decent, decent, decent progress though. I'm really happy that this is turning out the way it is. Uh, nine, please. And then germs are not coming out of here, which is good. We hit most of the bottom, which is neat. What are we out of? Igneous rock, okay. That's due to all of our wonderful patches, but we have it all over the place, so that's why we're slowly converting them to like the Paku farm instead. There we go. There we go. Gives everybody something to do because we need an extra source of food. Mealwood is a good option though for uh, the Drecos. They're all starving, apparently. I'm not sure why. We've had no issues with them eating on the other ones. Um, why don't we do this? We'll throw a few more down. What else do we have going on? We have... Oh, that's done. Okay, um... You will turn into you. It's gonna sh be shielded a little bit. Just because of all this polluted water, but it's fine. Not really a big deal. Look at all that barbecue just hanging out. Oh, we need to disable that. Not because I don't want them to... Well, it's because I don't want them to accidentally drink gross water if for some reason there's germs inside our liquids. I mean, look at this. We are... Ooh, we are down on regular water. We may need to send it um, through this kind of loop sooner rather than later. Uh, we need you. This is going to be priority nine. Um, yeah. We have the we have the copper for it, so I'm not really too worried about it. But now our steel count is at 2,025, but really getting up there on the temperature. We have next cycle for this to come turn on and give us more brine. We may need to do another reservoir or two, or three. Hmm. We could just get rid of these. Even though it looks nice and pretty, we may just grab another couple. Yep. I think that's what we're going to do. Mm. 
since we need to yep actually let's make these out of gold yeah why not we have the gold one two perfect okay now what are we doing we have them building those. We have eggs in here. How's this looking? Let's take a look. Yep, everything is still flowing. This is getting rid of it in a good amount of time. So I think we haven't been sending any hydrogen down these pipes. Ah, you know what we forgot? Okay, let's look at the temperature in the base. So, it has started to level off since we changed these to insulated gas pipes, and we moved this pipe all the way around the edge to keep the edge of the base cooler. We could also do that on the other side if we wanted to. This is really warm, like really, really warm. What is the overheat temperature? 125 degrees, and it's only at 40 degrees Celsius, so that's okay. What about down here? 56.3, okay. At some point, we may need to address this. Not right now, but at some point. And we are still at nine. So I'm willing to bet that the airflow tile does not let this stuff out. I think it's gotta be a pneumatic door because it's a metal, right? So let's try nine and nine. See, we learned, we learned. <clears throat> Okay, it's good. We need to pipe that. There we go. So this is gonna give us a little bit more breathing room with the extra brine that's gonna be cold coming in from the salt slush geyser. What I'm probably gonna do is, these are at six degrees. We're gonna need more water. So I will probably put in another, what am I thinking of? A brine refinement. The desalinator gets rid of the salts from brine or, or salt water. So I might grab a desalinator or two, see if an auto sweeper works. I don't think it will. I can just throw it right here. It'll just give us more more regular water to use. And how cold is this? This is at 6.3 degrees, 22 degrees, 24.4, 4.4. So all this is really warm. The water inside this reservoir is super warm as well. Yeah, we need we need to start fixing some of these issues sooner rather than later right because if you don't and you just leave it as is what ends up happening is everything overheats and then you have issues obviously you don't want to deal with that so um i also want a door here okay and then we will copy this copy settings to this one we will build you here we will get rid of you, same thing here. And then once all this is taken care of, we can, oh, how do we build it? We need one of the shipping. 
one, two, three, four. We want a container or a storage bin here. And then we also want, we will want a critter sensor. Yep, that's looking good. We aren't gonna do any of the extra automation right away, but let's uh, open these for now. So we can let, let water in. We want plumbing. We're gonna need one, two, three, four. This is ready, but what is the temperature that we need it to be? Internal temperature of all of this is pretty good. Let's see, what's it look like over here? So all this cooled down because of the radiant pipe. That was really fast. Wow, okay. Probably because of how cold it is. Um, we want it to be above. Let's see, what's the freezing temperature of water? 0.6. So we want it to be above zero. And then we can do. Is it just regular liquid pipe? It is. Okay. And then, do, 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 do. temporarily, I think we should put a, no, we won't. This will be fine. Did that get done? It did. Okay. How's the germs looking? They're going down. Radiation is a little stagnant in this direction, but it's still getting rid of them. If we wanted to, we could just dig these. No, that is not what I wanted. There we go. They'll be in a suit, so I'm not too concerned about them going in and out of there. Um, <laughs> now we should be getting radiation bolts again. Lots of plastic. You know what we could do? How much plastic do we have? Oh man. Alright. We have a lot. We should put plastic here. And here. And here. The next step is going to be to do tubes, but I'm not going to do that for a little bit. We do have some good spots for it though. One, two, three, four, five, right? We aren't gonna put that, we're not refining them there. We are going to refine them over there with the sensor, algae, please and thank you. Okay. What am I missing? Pipe is blocked, okay. Let's, um. build all of that and then they can start creating what we need. Wow, all this brine is Yeah, we're we're going to need to convert that pretty quickly here because they're getting full really fast. Really really fast. So, liquid bridge going down, pipe like this, down and over, 
We want refinement and desalinator. Put that here. We want copper here. And then automation again. We want a liquid element. What is it? No, we want a... It's under plumbing, isn't it? It is. We want liquid pipe thermo sensor. Where do we put you? Where do we have spot for you? We'll put you here. And then down. Down and over. And over like this. And then we can take that and where do we go next? So that's the intake. This is the output, right? Output's going to go over here. Uh, we'll just take it down this line over here. Well, this is going to be clean water, right? Where am I going here? Here. Because this is just going to go straight up into this. I feel like we aren't even going to need to put it into a tank. This is just going to keep going. It's temperature. It's pretty fine. I haven't really gotten higher than that. Okay. With all that being made, let's look at the temperature up here. See, everything is cooling off again because of all the cold. Alright, now, one, two. The only thing that we might need to do is change or change the mechanized airlock. Well, I don't know if we'll need to. What we need is more rad bolts. We need like a bit more rad bolts. After this sends out the hundred, we're going to send fifty again instead. All right. That's all looking in our favor. Do we have germs? No germs. Good. Looks like they are taking care of all of this. Good job, Meep. We are super sparkly today. Okay, so there's no oxygen. What I want to do is go down and over. And then we're going to cut this. Well, we'll let them build that first and then we will cut it on the other side and then we will attach it. I feel like this oxygen just keeps getting backed up and the other ones do not because they're they have other areas that they're going to. We'll just fix this as we need to. I hope it's all reachable. Okay, we don't need all these letters. They can just walk on the top. I swear. Sometimes when you have things fit in one way, boom. Now all of this is going to go right in there. Right? It's still flowing? It is. Good. This is all flowing still. This has this is stopping and starting and stopping and starting. See? That is what you want to see, I think, that we were not seeing before. And now we have a lot less hydrogen going through all of the pipes. It looks really good and it looks really clean. Minus some spaghetti, but what are you going to do?
you can't get rid of all of the spaghetti if you, even if you tried there's too much to do um almost got it let's see if we get these rad bolts we're at 99 we're gonna watch it it's gonna shoot through this time even though the pneumatic door is metal do 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 see So now, good job, Hassan. You're doing the right work. This is why we we like our duplicants. They do everything that we need them to. Okay. Um, oh, automation wire. We need an automation wire to the salinator. Do 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 do. Okay, pipes are going in. We did not connect them up right away. How's this looking now? Temperatures cooling down. But either way, we need to do... You know what I wonder? I wonder if we decided to do... So we have it really cold over here, right? But... We don't want it super cold in the bedrooms. I don't like my bedroom over cold. Do you like your bedroom over cold? I don't. What if we did one of these? We go sedimentary rock is thermally reactive. We go up and over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up and down. <laughs> uh, then we go, we go up and down. Cancel that. We go. Yeah, I know this is really dumb. <laughs> and really extra but I'm gonna do it because we need extra water right and we need a place to store it I could just throw it down there but I'm not because all this water in here is 25 degrees so that might freeze it too much this water is not 25 degrees this water is way warmer Maybe it's not way warmer, but still. Oh, we need a bridge. Plus it's giving the duplicants something to do. Okay, it's going down and over. Perfect. This is probably going to heat it up enough to where we don't have to worry about it being too cold in this vicinity. I think it's partially too cold because of these. So we're going to also change those to insulated tiles. Perfect. Whoosh. And then base. What can we make? We can make transit tube access. That's right. Might as well get it started. We'll start with one since we need a ton more metal. It's not cool enough yet. Okay, how warm is this getting? 11 degrees. It's, let's see, let's look at the plumbing. It's coming in at 8.3 going out at 10.2 okay it almost might have been better to push it in a different direction but we have one more to go okay let's turn this down to uh, 10 
Oh, you can only do 50. And they say you're good at this game, Dom. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. So now, let's look at the temperature. Okay, it's slowly warming up. Right? Oh, that's getting super hot. That's really hot. Oh, boy. But it's made out of gold. On purpose, of course. You guys saw me pick gold, didn't you? <laughs> so the only thing that I'm waiting for in here is the critter condo. We can make the critter condo, and then we won't have to go back inside of here ever again, probably. Maybe. I'll have to look at some other specifics, but I think that that's how it will work. Um, let's go over here and dig around in that. No, don't, don't, don't worry about those. They're all happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, let's do this. And this. No idleness, right? Zero idleness. Alright, so... Hmm. <laughs> we have Sweetles. I don't think they were eating sulfur, though. Let's throw some sulfur up here. Move sulfur here. Okay. This oxygen is continually flowing like we need it to. All of the oxygen is flowing like we need it to. Hydrogen is flowing. It's getting over full, which is fantastic. We got a tune-up. Tune-up done. And this is where we slow it down. Okay, everyone. That's it for this episode. I feel like we got a lot accomplished. We started creating our Paku farms. So that way we have another option for food instead of relying on stone hatches. I haven't done a volcano in a while, so we aren't really going to rely on that too much. We have an absurd amount of Drekos running around. Um, research is almost done. That's what we need in order to complete the little Paku farms. Um, when I'm done with this build, I will be providing the link to the video where I found this from. It's from Luma Plays. So I will be providing that in the description in the next episode when I complete those. We also have a planetarium to make and some other things in the next episode, but all in all, I think we were very productive and moving in a stalwart direction. That's it, folks. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one.